Hey y'all, today's lesson is writing in y equals form. Y equals, let me move that box. And let me small, make myself smaller. Okay, perfect. Writing in y equals form. Y equals in equation form is called slope intercept form. Ooh, whoops. Form. It's very popular, wild, widely used, and will probably be one of your favorite forms once you get used to it. Oh, I already wrote it here. Slope intercept form, it looks like this. Y equals mx plus b. M is the slope of the equation, and b is the y intercept. This form is widely used and very popular because it's easy. Once you have a slope intercept form, it's easy to identify the slope and the y intercept. And it's easy to graph a line from slope-intercept form. If you have the equation of slope-intercept form, you can graph it, you can identify the slope, and you can identify the y-intercept, which are all important pieces to the equation. So here are some steps to convert it to slope-intercept form. First, you're going to combine any like terms, if that's possible. Generally, it's not going to be, but if you have any like terms, you want to combine those. Then... <clears throat> you're going to move your x term over. And when I say over, I mean across the equal sign. Um, when you move your x term over, we're going to write that x term first because notice it, y equals mx. mx comes before the b. So we want to make sure that we list our x term first. And then we're going to isolate y, which means we get y by itself. And our last step, we want to simplify. We want to clean up any positives, any negatives, and any fractions that we can simplify. Hang on, I'm recording my last one, okay? So here are some examples for us. Here's our first example, 3x plus y equals 6. This is an equation of a line, and right now it's in standard form, but we want to write it in slope-intercept form. So number one, we can graph it, and we can identify the slope and the y-intercept. Right now, when you look at it, you might not can tell what the slope is or the y-intercept. So we want to combine like terms. I don't have any terms to combine. I cannot combine these because they don't have the same variable. So now I want to move my x term over because again I want my y by itself. So in order for me to move my x term over I have to undo what's happening with the y and focus on the y. Yes this is multiplication but it's being added to the y so I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. That's going to cancel. So I'm left with a positive y equals and now here 6 minus 3x. We cannot subtract those because they're not like terms. So that's what I mean when I say you put your x term first. This is a negative 3x, so I'm going to do negative 3x plus 6. The 6 is positive, the 3x is negative, so I'm going to put my negative 3x first. Now I want to isolate y. Does y have anything with it? No. So y is by itself, and now I simplify. I don't have any fractions to reduce. I don't have anything to clean up, so I am done. And my slope is negative 3, and my y-intercept is 6. So again, it's easy to identify your slope and your y-intercept. Um, let's do another example. Let me lift this up. Uh, example 2, x minus y equals 5. Again, I'm going to follow my steps. I don't have any combining like terms. That's something on my computer screen. So I need to move my x over. My x is a positive x, so I'm going to subtract x from both sides. You might see this minus, but that is really a negative y. The x is positive, so I'm going to subtract it, and then I'm left with negative y. Be careful, make sure you bring your negative down. Equals, I'm going to put my x term first plus 5, because the 5 is positive. So now I need to isolate my y. I need to get the y by itself. Right now it's a negative y. So you have one or two options. You can divide by negative 1 or you can multiply by negative 1. I'm just going to divide by negative 1 because I just like to see. I'm dividing by negative 1. And when you divide by negative 1, all the signs are going to switch from being positive to negative or negative to positive. So negative y divided by negative 1 is a positive y. Negative 1x divided by negative 1 is a positive x. And positive 5 divided by negative 5 is a negative 5. So again, my negatives change to positive, and my 1 positive 5 change to a negative. So my slope, what number is in front of the x right here? My slope is 1, which means 1 over 1. 
and my y-intercept is negative 5. Okay? So, a few more examples somewhere. Here we go, on the back. <clears throat> y equals 7x plus 14 equals 2x. So, in this one, it looks a little different because my 2x is already moved over. So, now I just need to get this plus 14 over. So, I'm going to subtract 14 on both sides. 7x equals, we want to put the x term first. So, 2x minus 14. And now I want to isolate my y. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, this is supposed to be a Y. I am so sorry. I'm going to make sure yours is typed correctly, and you'll just see my mess up. Uh, I want to isolate my Y, so I need to divide everything by 7. And when I divide, I get Y equals 2 sevenths X minus 14 over 7. And then my last step is I just want to simplify everything. So y equals 2 sevenths is as simple as it can go, so it stays 2 sevenths. But negative 14 over 7 can be uh, simplified to negative 2. And then my slope is 2 sevenths, and my y-intercept is negative 2. Notice I'm not saying 2 sevenths x. x is not part of the slope. The slope is just the coefficient of x. x is a coordinate. You know, an x and a y is like an ordered pair. So your slope is just the 2 sevenths. So you've got a couple of U tries. I want you to pause it and try. And then when you're ready to see your answer or follow along with me, press play. Um, 3x minus y equals 9. So I need to move my 3x over. And I'm going to be left with negative y equals negative 3x plus 9. Again, I want my x value to go first. I need to divide by negative 1. And when I divide by negative 1, I get y equals 3x minus 9. So my slope is 3, and my y-intercept is negative 9. All right, last one. 5y equals 10 minus 15x. Um, the x is already moved over. The, the constant 10 is already moved over. But I need to switch them because they're not in the right place. So negative 15x plus 10. Remember, the 15x is the one that has the negative, so that has to go first. Then I'm going to divide by 5. Somehow I got my colors mixed up because I don't know how I did that. Um, negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then I just double check and make sure I have all my negatives correct. So in this problem, my slope is negative 3 and my y-intercept is 2. All right? So that was just a quick lesson on how to write numbers in slope-intercept form, y equals form, or maybe function form. And we will practice, practice, practice. And this is such a huge skill for Algebra 1.